So following on from the previous video, we got to this stage, we got to this stage where where if you tidy this up, if you tidy this up, it will then give you this because uh, because if, if you look at this bit here, just looking at this bit here, it will be top times top times top. So that will then give you uh, one times three times five, and then uh, and then at the bottom it will be it will be um, it will be two times two times two. So so at the top it will be three times uh, this thing here, and then at the bottom it will be uh, two to the power of three. But then you've got to divide by this thing here, divided by three factorial. This gets multiplied to the bottom, so it'd be three factorial. Uh, and then and then you've got your your this thing here to the power of three. So the so it would be to the power of six. But then you've got a, a negative here because when you power it, then when you power it by an odd number, this negative remains. And then you've got you've got a negative. Here, so think about it. It really becomes a, a positive. Overall, it will become a positive. So this thing here will then simplifies to to this thing two to the power of three, two to the power of three, three factorial, three factorial. So this whole thing here becomes this. Now you try and spot the pattern. So looking at this here, if you if you extend this, it will be one times three times five. And then the next one will be seven because you you've got to minus this by one. So the pattern is this: looking at this thing here, it will be uh, one times uh, times uh, three times five times seven. That's that's the next one here. That's the next one here. And then at the bottom it will be two times two times two times two. That's that's two to the power of uh, four. And then, uh, and then this one here would be four factorial, four factorial, and and then you've got your x to the power of what is it? Um, let me think. Uh, four. So it would be eight. So uh, so that's the next one. Um, uh, if, if surprisingly, surprisingly, this thing here, surprisingly, this thing here simplifies to two times four times six times eight. Surprisingly, it simplifies to that because if you um, hang on, so uh, so this thing here simplifies. Surprisingly, it simplifies to this because let's let's try and understand why it simplifies to this. And and the next one will be ten, uh, twelve, fourteen, and so on. Surprisingly, it simplifies to something simple uh, like this. Uh, let's try and understand why. Uh, here you've got two to the power of four. So that would be two. Uh, that that would be two times two times two times two. Four factorial would be four times three times two times one. And then if you if you uh, if this here would be two, and then merging these two would be four. So uh, so that would be four. And then and then if if you get this times of this, that would be six. That's this six here. And then, uh, and then, and then uh, you've got four times a two here. That would be eight. And then that's this, that's this eight here. It's hard to see the pattern, but let's let's ex let's extend this, uh, and then hopefully you can see the pattern. Let, let me illustrate it. So let's extend this um, a few terms here. So so the first one will be one times three times five times uh, seven times nine. So let's extend it a few times, and then. Uh, and then over, and then it, you've got two times two times two times two times two. So that's two to the power of five. And then you've got five factorial, five factorial. And then uh, you've got your uh, x to the power of ten here. Um, and let's let's try and understand why this thing simplifies to uh, to uh, two, four, six, eight. 10. Let's try and understand why it simplifies to, to this nice and neat pattern here. So let's, let's look at this bit here. It will be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Here you've got 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Uh, this first one here would be 2. And then, and then merging these two would be 4. And then now, now let's get this and merge it with this. So that would be 6. And then this two here, merge it with this. 
this would be 8 and then and then you're, you're always going to have the last two here which would be 10 so if you continue the pattern this weird thing here simplifies you something nice and nice and simple well from here that will then take you to here it's a nice simple pattern two four six eight and so on okay so that would then take us to uh, to here and then uh, and then what let me think and then what um, and then I will continue in the next video okay